Geometry is a very logical subject. In other words, it is a subject that makes a lot of sense. For example, if I say that a triangle has three sides, then every time you see a three-sided figure, you may call it a triangle because it makes sense. It is the logical thing to do. So, because it is very logical, the statements we make will be short and to the point. This kind of short and to the point statements are called conditional statements. They're called conditional because if the conditions are not met, then the statement is not valid. For example, we all know that house cats belong to the feline family. So the conditional statement will say, if it is a cat, then it is a feline. Notice that the conditional statement takes the form of if and then. The if and then form is used to make the statement as simple as possible. In geometry, we could say, if a triangle has three equal sides, then it is an equilateral triangle. The first part, or the if part, is called the hypothesis, and the second part, the then part, is called the conclusion. The if part hypothesis, the then part conclusion. If the conclusion is wrong, then the hypothesis is not valid. An example of an invalid hypothesis would be, if it has four legs, then it is a table. It is an invalid hypothesis because a lot of living things and inanimate objects have four legs. Besides, a table could also have three legs. What you see here now are all conditional statements with a valid hypothesis. If it is a square, then it is a quadrilateral. If it is a line, then all points are collinear. If it is a triangle, then the sum of its angles are 180 degrees. If it is a bisector, then it divides an angle into two equal angles.